I'm Callie Lewis. You're watching Geek Brief TV. I'll be back to work on Geek Brief tomorrow, but today I have one more segment for you from my speech in Las Vegas. This is Pun of Mystery's research project called Sixth Sense. Told you I wanted to get back to this guy, Pun of Mystery. You know, his, his research is just incredible to me because it, it will affect the way we interact with machines in the future. So I'm really excited about what he's up to and I keep talking about him and bringing him up and I'm sure everybody who knows me is sick of me. But he's working on a project outside of quickies and some other stuff called Sixth Sense. This is what Sixth Sense looks like. It's a very rough prototype, mind you. It has a camera, a projector, a phone, and those color markers on his fingers are recognized as input from the system. Now, this is a little more nerdy than um, most of us probably feel comfortable walking around with, but it can be built into something as small as a mobile phone. You see here he is, um, the colors on his fingers are coordinating with the colors that he's drawing. That's the projector sending out the information that he's processing. And here, he's going to draw a smiley face. If you pay attention to what he's doing, he's kind of pulling away as you would, you know, taking your, your finger off the mouse click. Um, so as he draws the eyes, he pulls off and then does the nose. If you have an iPhone, you know this gesture really well, zooming in and out of the map. Now he's going to go be a tourist for a bit. He's going to take a bunch of photos. The idea with Sixth Sense is to create gestures that are natural to us. I mean, how many times have you been out and like, you know, just kind of thought through your mind, oh, that'd be a perfect, perfect picture. So that is the gesture that you do. You take a picture. He looks like he's in a subway station. It doesn't matter whether he's in a subway station or uh, his office or his house or whatever. The idea is that he can go to any surface and start to look at the information that is in his system. He uh, looked at his, his photos, he browsed through them, he could probably delete them. Now he's browsing through files. Take a look at the weather. Browse some stocks. The, again, the idea is so that he can not have to worry about having a monitor that he has to go to and not being able to, to take his um, his information and communicate when he's not when he's away from that monitor. He should be able to use any surface. He's using his hand to dial and make a phone call. He should be able to go to any surface and have all of that information at his fingertips. Literally. <laughs> now he's at the store. He picks up a, uh, a roll of bounty. Uh, now in this case, he's looking for something environmentally safe and that one gave him a yellow light. So he picks up another one to see if it is any better. It's reading the information on the package and giving you back information immediately. Uh, if you wanted something more absorbent, then you can obviously go the opposite way. Seeing video that corresponds with an article in the Wall Street Journal. We've all seen Harry Potter. We know this already works, right? <laughs> Uh, and then the next thing, I, probably a lot of you uh, are going to be a little hesitant on this one. <laughs> you get the idea. You go up to somebody, you immediately know some information about them. He's a student, he's into photography. Uh, I, I don't know how I'd feel about everybody knowing everything about me, but you know, it, it, it is um, an interesting point to automatically have a conversation starter and not have to go through that fumbling experience. He needs to go to the airport. He can quickly see that he's been delayed 20 minutes and that his flight has changed gates. So that's okay, you know. He, he doesn't have to go to the airport just now. He can wait 20 more minutes. He draws a circle on his uh, wrist, pulls up the time, and he can go to Starbucks or do whatever he wants for 20 minutes. You know, that, that idea of just having everything available to you, having all of that communication readily available. That's what Sixth Sense is all about. So we've talked about Yowza and Jot. Uh, those are two things that can help you save money 
and uh, make your life easier right away. And we've talked about Sixth Sense and quickies and uh, things that can you know, help our future and that will impact our future no matter what. So I'll go ahead and plug myself. My show is Geek Brief TV. If you want to get a daily dose of uh, what's going on in the tech world and gadgets and fun stuff, like Jim likes to talk about all the time, uh, then I'd love to have you stop by. It's at www.geekbrief.tv. Thanks so much for your time.